G'day wonderful people and welcome back to another episode of Sailing Learning by Doing. Last week we made the pretty tough decision to park the boat and head back to Europe for a, a few months to earn some money. So this week's video is all about the haul out. We pull out the boat in Madana Bay Marina and set her up to leave. <laughs> We just arrived in Medana Bay, uh, the marina, we're gonna hold out the boat. So the last night was the last on the boat for the season, I'm pretty sad about that. Um, Werner is actually talking with the owner of the marina, because we have to hold out the boat during the evening, probably it's gonna be all dark, around 10, 11 I think, with the high tide. So yeah, the boat gonna be just up there and we're gonna be on land for the rest of, uh, of our days in Indonesia before leaving in Europe. Alright, we're at the, at the harbour now, Medina Bay, tied up at the jetty, with kids here flying kites. And now we're going up to our room. We've rented a room here for a week or so while we're working. And we're going to haul out tonight. These guys here have never done a nighttime haul out. So they've rigged a couple of lights, but yeah, it's going to be a first time and fingers crossed. It's always a stressful uh, situation hauling out the boat, but in an unknown situation at dark and I don't know these guys and they don't have a travel lift. They have a trailer that you put the boat on, but um, seems okay. So we're going to see. I'll show you all how it goes. Hello. Hello. Don't don't so don't. So happy with the room? Yeah, pretty good. It's gonna be good to work a little bit. And sleeping in a bed was not moving anymore. Air conditioning, bagus. Yeah, nothing super fancy, but um, definitely a lot more comfortable than trying to stay on the boat when the boat's out of the water and, you know, it's just hot and uh, you can't jump off the back and go in the water and everything and dusty because we're working and sanding and everything. So this is, it's going to be cool and it's really just 30, 40 meters walk and we're at the boat. We can wake up, have some breakfast, start working. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we're here on the beach at Madana Bay. Shahali and there tied up to the dock, ready to go tonight. This is the trailer that's going to get put on, John Deere tractor, and uh, this is Peter, the guy in charge and the yes. owner here. Well, welcome to Madana Bay Marina, uh, Vernon. Good to have you and Chihali on here. So what we have here is a Rudberg, what is called a submersible hydraulic trailer. And Rudberg have been in the business of making them for many, many years. We're the first one in Indonesia. Now, the great fl point of its flexibility is that we can either handle uh, catamarans, we can also handle monohulls, we can also handle trimarans, all depending on the configuration. When I say the configuration, this, this is the width adjustment. She Hallion's a pretty narrow boat, so we have her on minimum setting right now, but she can go out another 60, six, another meter 20 on what we have at the moment. So we've already set her up for your boat at this width. Now, this evening we're going to go down to the water line with the tractor, but I don't want to put too much of the tractor in the water, so we probably have about this much of the wheels in the, in the water. And then this is an extendable stick. So this, this tow bar will extend for about three meters out underneath your boat. And not only that, but because it's working on hydraulics, it's, it's much smoother to control than driving the tractor. And the same when we do the haul out. We will start your haul out using the hydraulics and, okay. one, and once they're pulled up short on yep. this one then he'll then he will drive yep. but up so to that stage it's very smooth and so as we see you rise up with the water we can be checking the rubbers and be confident that your boat is nice and stable when it comes up then she'll go underneath you 
and then these pistons will rise. We've got the extensions on because you're a fairly deep, deep draft boat. So this gives us quite a lot of flexibility. We're underneath you and then these will come up. These will take the form of your hull. So you get them up and you watch using these only will lift you about five centuries out of the water. Then my men will be underneath. It's going to be a night job, so they're going to have torches just to check, check the seating of the rubbers. And then we go ahead and lift the frame. Now the frame can go up quite a long way. So that's these, this whole thing. This whole thing here. on these hydraulics. Yeah. So I'll be waiting this evening until the tide is up to the two meter mark. Yep. And when it's there, you should have a nice clearance and we'll bring you in. We're showing you this all now because, yeah, it's going to be dark tonight. We're lifting at 8 o'clock, you said? About that, I think, yeah. We'll get ready at 8 o'clock and just keep an eye on the, the levels there. But we won't probably be able to show you too much at night. Um, Marie will be filming, but uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty dark. The boat will stay th the whole night in the trailer and tomorrow it'll get put on the in its resting spot, put it that way. And then, yeah, we can show you how it works then. Anyway, thanks, Peter. Okay, so those sticks there, the, the black tape means it's two meters of water where the trailer's going to be. And my boat needs two meters, so we're just under that now, but they're putting the trailer in the water and we'll put the boat on there and give it a try. We had enough water, the keel didn't scrape the bottom, and now he's got the weight of it on the pads, and it's just a matter of positioning the boat on the pad so that the weight is distributed evenly. Uh, but it's looking good. Focus. Okay, well that went super fast and super easy and uh, yeah, no stress at all. It's always a bit stressful lifting a boat out but this has actually been my less stressful time. This was really good, they all knew what they were doing, it was all pretty calm. The system with the trailer works really good and uh, yeah, it's really good, stoked. So next morning before we'd even got out of bed and had breakfast, the boys had been out there for an hour scrubbing the bottom. And yeah, started the tractor up and was lifted Shahalian up off the ground and we're heading up to the back to the resting spot. She's nearly done. It's really good. Uh, everything went really good moving the boat back here. 
And yeah, it looks good. We gave it a bit of a clean down. It's not completely sanded or anything yet, but zero osmosis bubbles. Just a few shells to scratch off, but the hull's looking perfect. After three years in the water, this International Ultra 2 hard bracing Andy fell. Great. I mean, I've scraped it every couple months, but um, wow, it's still looking pretty fresh. I could nearly just leave it, but no. Awesome. Stoked.